Let's take a look at some of the rest of the day's news now. If you were watching on Friday, you will have seen our first report from Kenya on the devastating drought gripping the north of the country, as well as Somalia and Ethiopia. Crops have been decimated after two years of failed rainy seasons. And with rocketing food prices too, millions of people don't have enough to eat. UNICEF says almost two million children in the region require urgent treatment for life-threatening, severe, acute malnutrition. Now, in the town of Kakuma in northern Kenya, we were given rare access to the International Rescue Committee's hospital, where 45 children have died with malnutrition so far this year, and doctors are expecting that number to rise. We should warn you, you may find some of the images in this report distressing. Every breath is hard for Sylvanus, who's in the children's ward, his parents keeping vigil. The two-year-old was born with a heart condition, but it's hunger that's brought him to hospital. As the seventh in a family of six children. Yeah. So the main concern, uh, the mother is not able to provide enough meals. Can you ask her from me how worried she is about her little boy? Her greatest worry, every night when she sleeps, she's... She's just hopeful that she'd wake up to find the child alive. Formula packed with calories helps to build the patients back up. The worst drought in 40 years has caused a hunger crisis here and a huge spike in admissions. Our youngest patients, some of them are even a month old. Um, our largest population with severe acute malnutrition is actually between 0 and 24 months. Rarely uh, do we see cases of uh, malnutrition past five years, but as you can see, we actually do have one admitted currently at nine years. Severe malnutrition causes muscle wastage. It leaves these children extremely fatigued and in real discomfort. And there's another, even bigger problem because it leaves their immune system so weak they can't fight off other diseases. Pneumonia, severe diarrhea and malaria are common and not just in malnourished children. In the adult ward, a shocking sight. 75-year-old Ekion was already severely underweight when she contracted malaria. She's so emaciated, lying down leaves her in agony. Her son, trying to make her comfortable, tells me he can't afford to buy her food because he has four children and his nephews to look after. Refugees, and there are 200,000 here in Kakuma, are desperate too. Their food rations have been cut because aid agencies are increasingly stretched. Baby Madalena's mother can't cope. This is the second time the child is being admitted with severe acute malnutrition. On average, gets one meal a day, and uh, the mother is not able to provide enough meal for the family. According to the mother, the child is really improving. Are you worried that she might come back again if the mother still can't provide the food for her? Yes, given the fact that this is the second time, yeah, we might see the child more often. For the medical staff, it can feel hopeless. We can't do enough. Yes, I'm a doctor. I don't know what they need is food. I have no control over the weather. I cannot do that. So it's really, it's really hitting us hard that we can just do this, but we know we're just buying time. He is calling for the world to pay attention, to help, because people here are starving and there's no end in sight.